what is the single best way to avoid burning out? You know, that's like number one question that I get um, is how do you avoid burning out? It's tough. When I first started business, it, it was very, very tough. I still remember when um, when I was at dinner. Uh, after like three months of like going hard, 12 hour days, every single fucking day, I went to dinner. It was a Christmas dinner with my girlfriend. And it was something I still remember till this day because it, I felt so bad about it. Um, I was at dinner with her. And throughout dinner, prior to the food coming, I was on the phone more than 10 times. My phone, my phone was ringing off the hook. Okay, I was running a tutoring service at that time, and it was actually during final season, the, the Christmas time. And so everyone was just giving me calls back then, back to back calls. Like it felt like that. I didn't feel like I was at dinner. I didn't even know what I ordered. I was just like, hey, I ordered, and I was just in and out of the restaurant. And at one point when I came back, so we were eating at this place where you get to cook your own steak. And when it comes, the steak is already on a hot stove. So when I came back, I was kind of pissed off. Like, why is my steak well done? Like, what's going on? My girlfriend was telling me that the steak has been here for 20 minutes. And that really, really hurt me. Like, I was pissed because why is my stick well done and then to realize that I was actually gone for so long that the theater has already arrived that I neglected my girlfriend and I took her for granted because I was so involved in the hustle and the grind of things. That really made me feel so guilty and shameful of what I was doing and eventually I was burning out. I didn't go back to work and it made me really reflect on why I was doing what I was doing, and how I should approach this whole thing differently. I mean, all, all, a lot of us have these different kind of scenarios that puts, uh, puts things into perspective of what is important. Is it all work, or is it all family, or is it all relationship? For me specifically, it's all about the balance between being able to take care of yourself physically and emotionally, taking care of your family, your significant other, and your friends, then your business. So having these different pillars in my life allowed me to not burn out because I know for a fact that my life consists of these six different pillars. And if one, or if I put too much attention in one aspect and neglect the other, this pyramid or this stool is not gonna hold up strong. And I'm not gonna have that foundation. So, for me to for myself right now, I'm operating three different companies at the same time, managing over 100 staff. Yet I still have time to take care of my family, my loved ones, myself. It is all because of the fact that of understanding what I truly value, understanding what keeps me grounded, and seeing things in perspective. So at the end of the day, it really comes back down to you, what you believe in, what are your values, what are things that are non-negotiable for you, and what makes you truly happy. If it's about business success, yes, then you know what, go ahead, go full steam on it. You're never going to do it. That is what truly drives you. But if you use working as a mask, or as a thing to, to stay behind because you're avoiding other problems, Yes, of course you're going to burn out. Sooner or later you're going to burn out. It's, ne it's never going to be the same. It's not going to be effective work. Now when I go to work, it's much more effective. It's much more efficient. Because I know for a fact that I only have this much a lot of time to finish my work. Then I need to move on to taking care of my family. Then I need to take, I need to take care of myself. Self-development. Business. All these different chunks. Then it's, it's about knowing your balance, knowing your values, that's what's going to prevent you from burning out. So next time you're thinking about how do I avoid burning out, ask yourself the questions. What do you truly value? What are the non-negotiables? 
what makes you truly happy. Once you have those answers, hold tight to them. Be true to them. Be honest with yourself. That's how you're going to be able to avoid burning out. But the way I avoid burning out is actually knowing my balance. My non-negotiables, and they are my family, my friends, my loved ones, my career, and myself, emotionally and physically. That's the reason why I travel a lot, that's the reason why I spend a lot of time chilling with them and playing sports while still running my businesses. So I actually want to know from you on your end, what do you do that avoids, that allows you to avoid burning out? Is it going to the malls? Is it going on a shopping spree? Or is it traveling? Leave it in the comment section below. I'd like to know.